This is Bob Mormill for Peter Bell. I hope Peter's feeling better. And Damien Collins is a, a Real Estate Institute of Western Australian councillor. Welcome, Damien. Hi, Bob. Well, glad to be here. Yeah, well, I'm finished with you. <laughs> that may not be. <laughs> Go far uh, away. <laughs> Rewa. Rewa. So you represent a lot of middlemen. Well, we're, who earn commissions? Yes, we look after people in real estate. We help them with their transactions, whether they're buying, selling, or managing their properties. That's what we do, and uh, by and large, the public find that we do a very good job. Tightened up lately, though, hasn't it? To become a real estate salesman or agent, you've got to go through a more stringent process now. Yeah, that's been interesting. The last few years in WA, we've actually improved the standards. So you've got to have a certificate to become a sales representative and you've got to hold a diploma to be, have a licence. Actually, that's an interesting topic. There's a lot of uh, the Commonwealth Government with their national occupations or licensing system are trying to actually downgrade that so you would need less qualifications, which we think as an institute is a dumb move. Uh, we've increased the standards. We've also got compulsory CPD. So uh, we think it should be a reasonable level. Don't forget, people are dealing with half a million dollar asset it's not something that's small uh, so you know people are adequately qualified so uh, so we think it should be at least maintained but you, if we're finding at the moment the uh, federal government uh, certainly the plans at least under the previous government were to make it easier for people to become real estate agents that was the pre previous government yeah yeah so we're, we're not sure you're how a lot cosier gonna... with the conservative government you people in rewa and other institutions that in urban development and property development you like conservative governments well and you cosy up Bob, we, we deal with all the governments of the day and uh, only and donate with... to one though don't oh, we? look i don't think rewa donates to any of them but uh, look we're dealing with the governments of the day and ultimately it's in everybody's best interest if property market functions efficiently and uh, it helps everybody get into the market. How do you get the salesman's licence? What's the process? Uh, there's a couple of courses. You can do a course at Rewa. Uh, they run one. It's a, a certificate level course. So I'd give, recommend if you want to get into real estate, give them a call first and they can help you with property management courses and, and real estate agent courses as well. And is it a lengthy process to get the, the, the salesman's licence? No, not not that lengthy. It's uh, generally, depending on the course, it's it's five to seven days. And uh, uh, plus there's some assignments and, and, and extra work on top of that. But look, importantly, though, you do go into an agency. As a representative, you just can't go and run your own business. You need to go and work under a licensed agent. An agent yes. And the agent needs to be obviously high-level qualification and a number of years minimum experience. So... It's not just a free-for-all, you're under their supervision and they are responsible for your actions. And are there um, checks on character and background? Yeah, absolutely. You need a, a police clearance uh, and uh, anybody with uh, uh, a f certain amount of offences, minor offences generally are okay, but any certain, any major offences you can certainly be prohibited from acting in, in real estate, which is which I think is a good thing because otherwise we're going to have, uh, certainly it's dealing again with the, someone's biggest assets so we need to make sure we've got professional and ethical people in the industry. So to get um, an agent's licence and open your own business and uh, Billy Bloggs real estate yep. agents. Uh, that's a diploma course at a university, is it? Uh, not necessarily, no, not at university. You can do that again through REWA and other training providers. So it's uh, it's a high level, so it's 26 uh, uh, subjects that you need to do, uh, whereas the sales course is obviously a lot less than that. Uh, you need, also need two years minimum experience before you can go and hang out uh, your own shingle and start your own business. So, so there is a bit of experience and certainly qualifications and, to get and there. how long does that diploma course take? Well, it depends how much time and effort you want to put into it. The, uh, the Certainly uh, people who've done it part-time it can be six months can be a year uh, depends on how much time and if you want to go one or two days a week you can do it potentially a little bit quicker but it's not yeah it's not something you can get overnight it does take a bit of time to, to get to get it and what's the failure rate like uh, quite high actually yeah there is uh, from people who start in real estate a lot of people think well this is a, a ticket to easy money and, and a lot of people we find the uh, school holidays uh, uh, certain professions are on holidays at that time like to come in and, and do the course but it's like any profession if you're really good at it you, you gel well with your clients you provide an excellent service you can make a lot of money uh, but a lot of people come into it thinking they're going to make a, make it quick it doesn't happen it takes time and effort do the right things by people and if you do do that in the long run you certainly can make a really good income who sets the fees uh, nobody. They used to be regulated in Western Australia. The, I'm talking about commissions yep, on sales. Yep. So nobody. So uh, up until about uh, 10 years ago, there was a schedule of fees that were regulated by the state government. Uh, they did away with that. So 
pretty much it's free for all, whatever whatever you think someone's worth. So uh, any agent can charge any fee. Uh, but the good thing is, of course, you can choose. You, there's, there's plenty of agents out there, plenty of property managers. Uh, compare and contrast the fees, but also the service. You know, it's like anything. Uh, you don't go necessarily to the cheapest accountant, the cheapest doctor or the cheapest lawyer. When you're looking for a real estate agent, remember the fees are negotiable and, and get a few prices and options and then make your decision from there. When I disposed of um, a very modest amount of property that I had in New South Wales one time, it was a, an entirely different process to the one we have here. Uh, the same in Victoria. When I moved fr- back from to Western Australia for Victoria and I sold a place over there, there were lawyers involved and all mm. sorts of uh, difficult contracts. Mm. Over here, there seems to be a simple offer and acceptance form. And now... Mm. Of course, there's fine print, hmm. uh, but it seems to be a more streamlined process over here, an easier one and a less expensive one. Hmm. Am, am I simplifying it too much? No, you're right, definitely right. So what we have in Western Australia, we've got a standard form, uh, yep. offer and acceptance, form. and uh, which anyone who's bought real estate, I'm sure, would have, would have dealt with. It's very simple, and it's got. if you want to add extra terms and conditions to that contract, you yeah. can. Uh, then you use a settlement agent who will run the settlement process through for you to the end, so it gets all settled. Uh, in Victoria and New South Wales, in New South Wales, uh, it's very much what they call a, a different. It's a different system. So you basically put down on a piece of paper and then the lawyers get involved. So you agree, we do a handshake deal, Bob, and I'll buy yours for half a mil and we say in 30-day settlement, then we go off to the lawyers. The lawyers draft up a 50-page document and uh, and it's not necessarily standard, so you've got to read through it. Uh, it's quite an involved process. Victoria has got better. They've got a more standard form, but then you've got the a lot, big disclosure section 32. And of course, over there we know uh, auctions are, are pretty hot and that's at least the great thing in WA is you can buy a lot of your properties subject to finance or subject to inspections. When you go to auction, you're buying it, basically taking it as is. There's no backing out. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Damien Collins is a REWA counsellor. 922 11882 is that talkback number. If you've got a question about real estate, anything to do with real estate, you want to become a real estate agent, you want to become a real estate <laughs> salesman, got a complaint about one, he's the man, <laughs> ring now, and I'll be asking him further questions after the break. <laughs> this is where your community comes to talk. Yeah. 